On tonight's episode of the Dual Dorks, I'm going to be doing something a little bit different. I'll be showing you all my setup and how I motovlog. So stay tuned for this video. So the main reason why I went to Walmart was to pick up this hose and this hose only. And then of course I seen some other things I liked. I saw this uh, 6 in 1 tripod which would come in handy and then the lavalier mic. I already have one in my helmet but I bought this one for a spare and I wanted to try it out to see how it worked. Then I found this 3 in 1 hatchet slash saw slash hammers and like that would be nice to have moto camping sometimes so I picked that up as well. So the GoPro I'm running is a GoPro Hero 8 Black. It's a pretty good camera but just trying to moto vlog with it itself it's not too good. The mic's really bad. Here's my setup. So camera of course you're gonna have to get the media mod if you want to have some sort of decent audio and with the audio you're gonna have to have a mic and for cameras with audio you're gonna have to get a trs ca cable here and this is a must if you want to run the microphone to this media mod case what i run is just a lavalier mic in the helmet you can run a powered mic but i prefer the lavalier it's just a little bit smaller easier to fit in the helmet yeah, so when I was at Walmart today, I saw this 6-in-1 pod. I'm like, man, this is a lot better than propping my phone up against rocks like I've been doing. So I picked this up today. And I picked up a Bauer Lavalier mic too, just to have a spare. So we're going to be testing this out pretty soon. So it has a GoPro attachment. I'll be honest, I probably won't put the GoPro on this. I'll use my phone. It's got the little foam out here, of course. So let's try this out. I think it's kind of cool. It's got a spot for horizontal and vertical filming. So how, however you want to have your phone positioned, it'll record like that. That's kind of a cool feature. I like having my phone horizontal when I do cinematic shots. So we're going to put this on this way. I like to feel the handle here. My other one I had was all plastic. This one is like a harder plastic. But this little connection here feels kind of cheap. I don't know. It's metal, but... I don't know if I like it or not. We'll find out soon. This is the main reason why I bought this thing. Because it can extend like this. My other one couldn't do that. But yeah, that's pretty cool. I could get some pretty cool shots. But um, not sure if this will adjust. It's kind of... Alright, I got it on the stand here. Sorry my place is kind of a mess right now. But... Whoa! Yeah, it's, I don't... It's kind of top-heavy. The phone. I wish to... I wish the bottom part, this the the stand, the actual stand was a little bit big. The base was bigger for more support, but I could make it work. All right, I'm gonna put this media mod back together and let's try this uh, microphone here. So this took me like when I first got this GoPro, I was like, cool, it's a top of the line GoPro, should have pretty good audio, but I was sure wrong. Then I had to look into it. You had to buy this like $80 media mod case just to have a input for audio. But the media mod case itself, it has two mics for it. It's got three mics on it, actually. It's got the mono mic, the front mic, and the back mic. And it's okay, but it's not too good. But with the TRS cable, you can plug in any mic. You can plug in powered mic, or you can plug in the lavier mic. So let's try this lab. All right, using the standard GoPro settings, uh, 1080p, 60 frames per second. Um, all right, I have it right next to my collar here. Seeing how I'm not, I'm not sure how this is gonna turn out. Once again, I'm sorry if my place is kind of a little messy right now, but. So I really like this mic, the Bauer Lavalier. Ah, I can never say that Lavalier mic. Um, it, for eight bucks it works pretty good and I wish Walmart had these available a while ago because last month I was having all these problems with mics and stuff actually a month or two ago and I wish Walmart had them then same with uh, Best Buy yeah so the positioning of the mic too is very important right right now I feel like I need to change it I feel my chin rubbing up against the foam of the mic that's too close I don't want it to sound like a bass boosted meme so I'm going to put it back on a chin skirt where it was to begin with. Alright, my mic is set up right by... The, it's clipped down to the chin skirt, so I feel like that's perfect location. Because if it's right next to your mouth, it's going to sound like a bass-boosted meme. Or 
if it's too far away, like on your collar, especially when you're riding, it, it might work a little bit, but it might pick up a lot of wind noise. Like chin skirt, it's just straight out of the wind and it's inside the helmet. So say if you want to run a mic to your GoPro. So there's a few options. First, uh, go to your preferences. If you have the GoPro Hero 8, this is what you do. Go to preferences, click on the little button, and then you're going to scroll down. You're going to find inputs and outputs. With the Without the media mod, it's not going to have any options for this. But with the media mod case, there's going to be a bunch of options if you have a mic input. I, if you have a lavalier mic, you're going to run standard mic. But if you have a powered mic, switch it to powered mic. Pretty simple as that. However you want to have your GoPro mounted, that's up to you. That's your personal preference. But all the loose wiring I like to tuck behind the padding. Same with the Sina wiring. Say if your camera is mounted upside down like mine is. Just make sure your orientation isn't locked. If it is locked, it's not the end of the world. You can always edit it and flip it around in your program you use to edit. There's probably a lot better setups to run out there, but... If you have any questions on what I did or how I motor vlog, just let me know in the comment section. So that's enough camera talk for now. Let's test this thing now. Let's go out in the back lot and see how this holds up and see how the microphone started. Uh, we'll do a lap around the lot here. So I got the mic. My, I'll put the link in the description of the mic I'm running now. It's a, one of the Lavier mics. So if you don't want to bore too many people with your videos of just like endless straight roads, you can get some pretty cool shots with your tripod here. So I'm going to use this out. I'll try to set up my phone here. That's all you really need is a nice a phone that takes pretty good pictures and videos for your cinematic shots. And tighten this up. And there we go. You always have to think of like think of your backdrops too like how like right now I got Bee Mountain I'm coming down to sand sandy little hill here actually let, let's extend this up oh my gosh let's extend this up a ways tighten it down yeah the only really problem I see of this thing is it's kind of made for like level ground these little arms don't really adjust but can make it work I guess all right kind of a cheap little thing but better than what I had to begin with I just had rocks I propped my phone against start recording run to our bike yeah just doing cinematic shots like this it's kind of repetitive, like you have to get off your bike, take your gloves off and on and stuff. But uh, the result is pretty good in my opinion. Ooh, high speed flyby. <laughs> and then you gotta get back off your bike, take off your gloves, go pick up your phone or whatever you're using. <laughs> then do it all over again until you got a pretty good video. That was yeah, pretty quick tear down here. Just slide it in there and go to your next spot. Then throw her back up again where you want to record. I kind of like this little spot here. It's got a good backdrop. So, and once you find a good backdrop or wherever, set it up. I'm going to extend it all the way out again. It's got to keep doing this process until you get get what you want really <laughs> it's kind of a pain sometimes but thank you all for watching this short video hopefully it helped out someone that's trying to get started on moto vlogging but um yeah i'll be posting again pretty soon and uh, you guys have a good one now stay tuned for the next video